excuse you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcoming you back to Pokemon Legends Arceus in the last episode. We completed our trial and became a full member of the Galaxy Scouting Squad. Basically, uh, Celine is a captain and Mr. Uh, I forget what the hell his name is. <laughs> the captain, uh, the commander upstairs, uh, Mr. Hulk Hogan, um, the Brock slash... Um, Whatever the hell the fighting guy. Chuck. He looks like Chuck up there. I'm really uh, bad at intros, at least for this game. There's a lot of new characters that I still have to remember. But I hope you're excited for that. Um, in this episode, we're going to be continuing our adventure. We're going to be crafting some items. Akira is going to show us how to do that. This lady's got an Eevee. VV. Hello. Who are you? Sanqua? Maybe we ought to build some spare lodging in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Good planning. And let's head on down and head to learn to how to craft some items. If I haven't said it already, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anthea. I'm the local clother. Anthe? I, I like Anthea. I wish... I, it's probably Anthe. The professor asked that I ready you in change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they fit. Thank you. I like your color scheme. <laughs> you received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village humble shops. She wants us to go spend money. Hello. This way to the crafts work, Adam. Come on. All right, all right, relax yourself. I already talked to this dude. Hello, Bruh. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Fancy. Why is it on the ground? <laughs> and I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you get from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. So as you just said, just pocket the money and just come to me and I'll help you. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case a Pokeball. You can use the craft bench in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Cool. All right, let's craft. Um, yep, yeah, and apparently I have 20 of each of those. <laughs> uh, might as well get 10, huh? Yeah. You made 10 Pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. The basics of crafting completed. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeball we crashed, you can make a use of the power to catch them all. That's a nice ringtone. I should write that down. Anyway, also that's more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note... Here you are. You received the Pokedex. A volume of compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Levington continually adds it to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Oh, that looks so nice. Tasked with unreported data, 12 research points to next rank. Obsidian field, scene caught. All right, Ral, Oshawa, Togepi. Cool. Habitat on, obviously, their starters. Never caught. Numbers caught. Time you've seen it, you slash. Times you've seen it, use a strong style move. Damn. I actually have to let it use its moves, too? Or I guess maybe I can use moves. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. It'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field camp. Whenever you're ready, my good Adam. Thanks, Professor. Hey, excuse me! 
Could you, could you help but over here? If you're going to the field camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Sure, dude. What do you need? I'm standing guard, so I, I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you uh, want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon above, above them. If you fill their request, you may receive a nice reward. Can I just talk to you now? Yeah? Hey. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Seriously, dude? Uh, yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience, through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which change their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirement to evolve, you'll be able to select evolve option when viewing the Pokemon. You can select when evolving? What? And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, can you let me have it? That'll be a war for you, I, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Wurmple can evolve. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like that. Is there any other requests around here before I venture out? Well, I'm just going to take a quick uh, walk around, jaunt around the place, see if anybody else has any requests, and I'll meet you at the field. Ooh, this guy's got a request too. Hello, dude. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing unless I see different sizes. One lines up side by side. If there's really are Blutzel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. Yeah, I know, buddy. He just he just wants to make you feel bad. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you've seen where I'm going with this. If you catch me a Bleasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. What about the one you already have? Come on. Don't do that to the dude. Alright, well... That one dude, one guard wants a Wurmple, this one wants a Bleasel. Alright, that's pretty cool. So let's continue our explanation. Again, if I see another request, I'll stop. But if not, I'll head over there and meet you at the camp. Those ears, um, no, I can't recall them. I know Shink's ears have odd marks on the inside, but what are they there for? Hello. No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corps? If you catch a Shinx, can you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up a wall. Did it, What did Shinx ears look like again? Well, good news, I have one. Got one of those Shinx to show me? I do, brew. Also, in between episodes, I found out how to nickname. So, meet Revan the Rowlet, Odin the Bidoof, that star to Starly and Hifumi the Shinx. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those ears. <laughs> Here you go. Hello. That's it. Its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them. It's kind of like a star. Thank you. Can you tell what a relief this is? Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat, all my throat, brain, and the bone of throb. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. You're you're welcome. Are oh, you giving me potions? Appreciate it, Brit. Oh, my Shink should get experience points for that. All right, well that's an easy quest. You kind of could just complete that one right away, seeing as though you have to catch a Shinx. All right, let's head out to the field. Radio, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokédex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need you to help carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Cool. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Poke... Boy, it's much more than just catching it and uploading. You gotta do everything. I guess that's good for replay and things to do, I guess. Each Pokemon species has a different number of variety of research tasks. Press down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field, use the L button. You can also instantly check the research tasks for the species by pressing down button to open up the Pokedex right in that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Cool. 
You must catch and battle device, diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Why are you mad at me? One last piece of advice, Adam. If you see a wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely and remember what I do. You can do it later. Up! Value! Ta da! <laughs> that beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security core has to collect me when I got the business end of Shinx Thundershock. But don't worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Alright, cool. Follow Akira to learn some tips for carrying out research tasks. Professor, you have anything else to say? Research tasks aren't simply about catching Pokemon. They require you to carry out all sorts of exciting field work. For, for now, I suggest you listen to Kira's advice, and you'll find everything much clearer when she helps you. Or would you rather return to Jubilee Village? <laughs> no, I'm good. What do you got, dude? If you're heading into the wilds, best be prepared. I can use a rest. I want to see my Pokemon. I like to do some shopping. What do you got? What would you like to buy? What are you buying? Cake lure base, a type of field precision that enhances the flavor of other food that is mixed in there. Cool. Revive potions and Pokeballs. All right, cool. Thanks, dude. All right, let's head out into the field. Can I just battle just to battle's sake? Because I love grinding. Now, let's make sure our survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with CL button, then press down the button to operate the Pokedex. You'll see what task you'll have for that Pokemon. Uh-oh, it's God. You must have noticed that you have research tasks to do for many Bidoofs you've caught. That's right, catching just one is enough. You need two, then four, then maybe more. What the hell do I do with them all, then? Do I release them? That's not nice. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain switching wisdom. If you have an item out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want to go. Huh. Alright, well, I have to focus on it. So, number of heavy species, heavy species, okay, number defeated, I have to defeat 15 of them for the maximum amount, number of different forms you've obtained, uh, does that mean shiny gives us stuff too? Alright, hello, can I just catch you, I guess, do I... Can I battle you? Yes. Let's just battle you. He's level 3. Leaf Edge. Same type of attack bonus. Boy, he's tough. Whoa! 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 Excuse you? Roll out at level 3? Get the hell? Uh oh. Oh! Uh, I mean, I could catch him, but this one... I should catch him. Does mine have rollout? Holy shit. Okay, good. We level up by battling two. Holy, we just got bodied. Does mine have rollout? Yes, he does. And that's all he knows? Yeah, whatever. I just wanted to double check that. Holy god. Here you go, Rowlet. Jesus, I'm sorry. I didn't know, like, these freaking Bidoofs are ridiculous. Alright, Akira, what else we got? I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when focused on the Pokemon to check your research tasks. Just LR down and check your tasks for the Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some grass. 
I kind of did that when I first caught my first one. I'll go wait for you ahead. Come and catch up when you finish some tasks. Jesus. <laughs> I mean... Talk about an extended tutorial. Who are you? Does he know me? I'm here? I mean... Can I... Oh, that was a perfect throw. Okay. Oh, spoiled apricot. Number you've caught without being spotted. Two of two. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Check Pokedex. Um, Starly. Number defeated. Number you have evolved. So I guess, let me defeat a number you've caught without being spotted. So when does the check mark come into play? I guess when you catch 20 of them? God. So that was like one of the things that I saw with this game. Is that if you wanted to like the hardcore, I guess, Nuzlocke it. Which means, you know, ooh, that came some leaks. Um, I'm guessing to get the best outcome, you have to uh, um, complete all the research tasks to make them better. Which would take some time because you have to catch them hey buddy okay you can just throw it by it you don't actually have to hit him oh and then i can just catch up starly is guarding starly keeps guards up starly ran away rip <laughs> come on i need to find a starly to battle there's one All right, come on, Hifumi. Uh, what? Why are all these Starlies running away? Like, what the hell here? This is a tutorial. They shouldn't be running away like that. Ridiculous. <gasps> There's our Warpal Boy. I probably could have just uh, threw a ball at it, but eh. All right, please don't kill. This shouldn't kill. All right, you'll be able to hit another one. Who's got poison stain? I guess I should have known that. Oh, I was gonna say, please don't die. Item. Pokeball. Use Pokeball. Let's catch the worm pull for that dude. Hey, got the worm pull. Worm pull new, level three, number caught. So where does he go now that I have six Pokemon? Times you've seen use quick attack, seven of 12. So this is gonna take a while, cause a lot of the, what is that red thing over there? Huh. Well, obviously it's some kind of collectible. Hello? What are you, sir? Can I, use can they hit it? Oh yeah, they can. Tumblestone. I don't exactly know what that is, but whatever. Alright, and after battling some Pokemon and getting some other stuff, we can head back and see what Akira's got. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Weasel. I know, he's right behind you. I've got an aggressive disposition. That means if he'll try to hit you with moves just like Shinx, you'll need to battle it to catch it. Yeah, I know, I'm going to battle one. I'm going to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edge of the screen turns red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't be able to recover if you're still being targeted by wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edge of the screen, turn red, you become overwhelmed and black out. And speaking of which, your research task for Weasel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you'll have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. It's fine. Now go ahead, take care of some of Weasel's research tasks, and come talk to me. Alright. That's fine. Hello, Weasel. I have Rowlet, so you're probably going to die really easily. Oh, you're level 2. I need to, I need to see a certain attack. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to see that. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> he did. Number defeat it. Well, at least I defeated it. I have to find another one, though. What other tasks I got? 
times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. All right, so that's what I need to see it. Number you defeated with electrical moves. Number you've defeated with like the number of large species you've caught. All right, well, if one of the tasks is electric moves, I might as well have a Fumi out with me. And I have to defeat another one. Wait. Oh, there's one. Also, these rocks, I'm not really too sure what they're used for, but you can have your Pokemon crack it open and get it. Crumble stones. Hey, bruh. I ain't screwed. Use Aqua Jet. <laughs> Make it work my wild. You defeated a Bootsle. Electric type moves. Grit dust? I don't even know what that is. Alright, and I think I need to catch one, so let me see if I can find one around here to catch. Alright, and after catching a bunch of dudes, collecting a bunch of items, case in point, we'll head back to the and see what else she's got for us. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me, your own crafting kit. I also don't know if, like, I tried finding more weasels, but there's only, like, two. I defeated both of them, unfortunately. <laughs> a kit um, containing everything you might need to craft everything when you're no work but you're bound. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. All right, that's cool. Yep, and I got a bunch of those rocks and acorns around. There's red rocks you can smash with Pokemon, and the trees will get you acorns, and then you can use that stuff to craft items in the field. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Oh, damn. Thank you. I also got a bunch of the um, leeks around here. I'm guessing one orange bear. Yep, we got plenty of those. With the crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. As long as you got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Cool. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leek, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. Man, in the future, there's like pharmacy medication and stuff. Back in the day, it's just one leaf. And one berry makes you 60 HP of potions. Damn, things have changed in the future. Now it's only 20 HP and probably full of vaccines. To cover your Pokedex, we'll tell if there are tasks you finished and can report. Tasks with unreported data. Yes, I know. We, I've been looking at it. Please report back to Professor Levington once you've got some research tasks good and done. Report your research task to Mr. Layton and earn a specific amount of Pokemon research points. Alright. Well, I mean, I think I've caught everything I need to in this area. Um, let's head back to Professor Lavington and see what he's got for us. Hello, Professor. I finished a bunch of tasks for you. Be proud of me. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Akira's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you receive money based on a level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as create, catching a species for the first time. Oh, on that note, let's check that research task you compiled thus far. Next. Damn, I got $1,200 for that, almost $1,300 for all that? Cool. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and spinning survey reports, or raise the research level of Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and it will be unlock all of the detailed information to be had about the species. Oh, so the points add up to 10, and that completes it. Ooh. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Cool. Preferred foods? Oh, look, it tells me. Cool. Update entries. Research level 8 only. 6, 5. So I've completed research level on Shinx. I think. Alright, cool. So research level 10 has been completed. But I guess you can complete more to get more rewards. To get more money. Species newly registers 5. Species newly completed entries. 
Aw, oh, I didn't get enough to get up a rank. Oh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up in rank. I'd recommend you work your way through Bef um, Bidoof and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Oh. Okay. So he wants me to continue more research notes. So it's a bunch of battling, a bunch of catching, and a bunch of uh, move looking at E. So I think in between episodes, I'm going to do that. And we'll report back to Professor Lavington and see what else he's got for us in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. But until next time, I have been Adam. This has been HMO4 Gaming. And this has been Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.